Did I not sell those turnips? Turnips? I mean, bok choy. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, a cat I found. I mean, a human child. <laughs> I mean, a skeletal hand. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Precarious plays Stardew Valley. All right. Time Turnips to skeletal hand in five easy steps. I think I'm going to water all my crops and, and then, then go dungeoning. Bundle? Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, bundle better idea. Maybe both. This is generally in the same neighborhood. All right, let me ask you a question, Chief. Yeah. If I put a safe in front of you in Stardew Valley, if I plopped a safe in your house uh -huh. and was like, this is a safe, what goes in a safe? What would you put in the safe to keep mm -hmm. safe? I would probably put like my tools and then because like all of the, my mining stuff. They are your life's blood. Yeah, they're the most important thing. And then like by mining stuff, I mean like what would come out, like all of the crystals and things like that. All of your crystals and gems? Crystals and gems, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, crystal. All of my crystal gems would go in the safe because I want them to be safe. All the things that you like a whole, whole lot? Yes, all of, the, all of my favorite things, my crystal gems would go in the safe. <laughs> Bail, put up on Ned's gem sonar. No, don't do that. <laughs> Too late now. Oh my God, that's... Am okay, you know what? It's not embarrassing because I did that shit up, okay? So... All right, so... Now, God. if we've got that out of the way. You're so embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it's my fault because I'm the one I'm the one who took the time out of my day okay. to draw a damn Can I tell you sona. can I tell you a secret? Do you have a gem sona? No, that's uh, a secret I wanted to share with you. I I like Steven Universe. Uh-huh. But I have to say that I have felt There's a dog. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I haven't felt invited by the series. Well, it's just okay. The only the only crystal gem that's a dude, like anywhere, right? And as far as anybody knows. Uh huh. They're dude, I mean, even just like dude shaped, because nobody, like everybody, they, they they're, they're constructs. They, uh -huh. they don't. I don't think that their physical forms matter almost not at all. But Stephen is the only one. Yeah. So it's it feels sort of egotistical to imagine a, a male Tim Sona. Well, you, that's the thing. You don't. You just make yourself female and everything's cool. But then I don't know if I would strongly oh. that that to me it feels too transformative. Uh-huh. I don't see any reason at that point I would not feel like I'm creating a character representative of me for the series. I would just feel like I was making like a fan character. Oh, I see. Yeah, because you you do identify with your your gender a lot out I mean, here in the world. I don't I don't know I don't know if that's true at all actually. Well, I think that that's that's just because you you see it all the time. I regularly whenever whenever I'm given the option and it's super easy, uh -huh. I regularly portray myself as a as a girl. Yeah. Well, then because it's like oh. I'm playing Dark Souls 3, and I can be a boy or a girl? Well, I'll pick a girl, then. Well, then, what's... what's... I don't see... Is it just because... No, don't get it. Don't get it? Nope, don't get it. It... It's the difference between writing yourself into something and just writing a new character for something. Mm, mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. It's it's like I guess that would be to, like a to, weird feeling. It feels like to insert myself into the series because isn't that isn't that sort of the objective of that? To put yourself in that universe? Uh, kind of, I guess. 
Visually, yes. Yeah. Well, then it feels like to do that. It feels more honest to use what I basically to like copy the roles, my real life character sheet roles, uh -huh. like what I rolled when I was born. Yeah. <laughs> um, it feels more honest to just copy as many of those values over as possible. Right. So like. So now do you do you understand? Well, I just think that you could make a pretty masculine gem without it being so masculine that it would be considered male from outside viewers. You know, like Megaton? Megaton? Yeah, Megaton is very girly. What? Yeah, but he's a he, though. No. Who's Megaton? Megaton would be Megaton from Undertale. I find him very oh, feminine. Oh, that's Metaton. Okay. Oh, Metaton. Yeah. My was, was, bad. That. Sorry, that's well, no, up. no, that that's fine. I it's just. You thought you missed a character in the yeah. series. Yeah. Yeah. No. I thought you were talking about. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Steven Universe character. I'm sorry. I was so distracted. I didn't actually hear what you said related to that. What about? What about Metaton? Oh, I think that he's. I think that he's a good example of. Someone... Undertale spoilers. Are you talking about his uh, Metaton Neo? Yeah, he's very or, girly. Is that is that Neo or is that whenever he fights you for real, real? Oh, I don't remember. But... I don't know. I, so you actually, you think... Like when I imagine like a somewhat masculine Gemsona... Yeah. I just kind of imagine like Ruby... <laughs> You know? We are jumping all over the place. Ruby. Ru Ruby. Ru Ruby. Ruby half Rose? of Garnet. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, so I thought you were talking about the other Ruby. I just don't think it would be that much of a stretch, really. Just having someone who's kind of like hot headed and <laughs> quite like Boorish. you. Boorish. Boorish and boyish and combative and everything, but she still presents as female. So I don't think that. You know, I'm just I don't know. Saying, I just I I have to say that I have felt sort of left out well, by this series. A little, well, just because. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I forgot the mo like the whole the whole important thing. Yeah. Because it, it it feels egotistical. That's the main thing. Yeah. That's the main one. Because if you if you have a wait no I think I did already say that and I think you just sort of brushed over it, mm -hmm. sort of ignored it. If you have sort of a a, a more masculine. I feel like you're then you're stepping on Steven's toes. You're oh. getting too close. I think that that's a slippery slope into Mary Sue, like, look at me, I'm the new protagonist territory. Oh yeah. I guess, I don't know. It's just that there are so many secrets left. To oh, he's so cute. And invisible. Oh. Or dead. Maybe you just scared the life out okay, of him. Okay, was it river fish? You know what, I didn't bring anything with me. God. Damn it. I'm sorry, I got, did I get too interesting with the yes. conversation? Okay, so here, we're gonna, well, we're gonna cut away. Well, here's my thing. I mean, like, I felt left out of most of the stuff that I liked when I was a kid because most of the main characters were boys and anything I yeah, was interested and, in. And so. hey, I guess we're not cutting away because I'm not just gonna leave that shit unaddressed. <laughs> I know that that is true and super fair, right? Yeah. For as often as I have been able to just drop into a work of fiction yeah. mentally, I know that it's it's fair, but fucking Steven Universe does such a great job of being inclusive and giving people so many mental ways in, yeah, so many emotional ways in. It is just a little, I'm a little taken aback to think about it and be like, I don't feel like I fit into that world physically. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, maybe you're not a gem. Maybe you're somebody important, like yeah, sour well, cream. Yeah, I mean, well, see, that's the thing, <laughs> is I, I did, I, I think my Steven Universe self would Your probably be, yeah, would probably <laughs> just be closer to like a Connie. Yeah. If I was being, if I, if I was, um, you know, 
if I got top like high, higher billing yeah. in the story. Yeah. If I wasn't like a one-off ish character, like what was his name? What's his name? There's nobody that's a one-off character. Well, I mean, there are some characters that have only gotten like one strong appearance. Like, uh, what was the the dancing guy? He was like, "Hey, we're the sexiest people to dance." Let's you know dance what? Together. Yes, that is one person who I haven't seen show up again. Or if he if he did, he wasn't like saying anything important. He was just like in the background yeah. as a cameo, kind yeah. of like, "Yeah, this is a universe, and people live here." Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll be back. I need to check my bundles. Bail, come back now. <laughs> I normally think of myself as just sort of riding around in my body as one would a giant mecha. <laughs> and like your consciousness like my is body, there. Yeah, my body is not me. It's just where, where my, my brain lives. It is only me in that it feeds hormones into my, my thinking process, you know, and yeah. influences it that way. And I actually often resent that. As important and as formative and as currently necessary, you know what? I, I try I, to I try to be respectful for for the the show that we have, uh-huh. but I think this might be getting a little too much for our internet show where we talk over video games. You didn't bring the other one. You didn't you didn't have room for okay. the, the dark gray shell. So then. I promised to talk about inventory in the world, and instead we spent the entire time talking about gender issues and the world's best cartoon. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I didn't even get to talk about my Ruby persona. Yes, that's true. I don't think I have a Ruby persona. That place I doesn't feel very welcoming to me. I don't. I have the 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 big the the, the, the uh, infant form, the larval form of a ruby persona, because everybody knows that uh, it's weapon first. Yes. You got Weapon it, first. And then you, you make a character around the weapon. Mm-hmm. That's how that shit works. Am I losing my mind right now? You need to go to the other, the other areas, because, oh, are you, what are you trying to? Trying to find a place to put these three fish. I thought they were necessary for something. I don't think so. Oh, gosh, I've just been holding fish in a box for no reason. <laughs> oh, that's got to be nasty. Lake fish, maybe? Nope. Okay. All right, next. Oh. Yeah, but I, I have um, I have a weapon in mind. Oh, yeah? Ruby. What? What is it? Tell me about it. Don't tell me about it. Talk about inventory or something. No, there's no way to start that now. <laughs> it's like 740 on a Saturday. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jeez. People have things to do this weekend. <laughs> no, I'll come back to that and give it its due. It's proper space next time. Mm-hmm. But right now, I'll tell you. Okay, well, on first. Um, do you have one? No, I... I find Ruby's universe to be frightening, so I don't... So and you didn't think of a means to defend yourself? It'd probably just be a bow anyway, but it'd have to be a bow with a gun on it because it's Ruby. <laughs> a gun bow. Actually, then... So you mean a crossbow? No, no I mean a gun, gun bow. bow. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. No, I don't... I, w- I would not say that I have ever tried to imagine... I've, I've never tried to place myself there because it sounds frightening. So, Which is funny because, you know, Steven Universe is really freaking scary too, but it's like scary at the pace of life. So visually and somewhat thematically, I first thought of uh, one of my favorite just designs of anything ever, Metal Gear Rex. Mm. I love Metal Gear Rex. I love the railgun. I love the, uh, oh shoot, Radon? The radon, I think it's called radon dish. I apologize if I got that wrong. Bail will fix it. Mm. <laughs> I just say a bunch of stupid bullshit because Bail will fix it. Yay! <laughs> Fuck it up. So, I imagine a, a basically it's a lance, right? Mm-hmm. But it's also a projectile launching device, what with the magnets. And then, it's got a big shield, except it has a, a hardened a s- suite of cameras. Mm-hmm. And 
I also, I, uh, I liked, the, I liked the story. Oh shoot, was it, was it Perseus who fought Medusa? I think so. Man, we're just gonna get all of the, the facts throughout history wrong today. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the gentleman of legend who was said to have uh, fought against Medusa and used uh, the shield, the reflective nature of the shield, mm -hmm. to <gasps> yes. to do the, uh, the the battle, right? Mm -hmm. So as not to be turned to stone. Mm -hmm. I drew inspiration from that because it's one of my favorite stories of like combat cleverness in in myth. Mm -hmm. So it has a bunch of cameras, some very obvious, mostly as a distraction, and some hidden. Mm -hmm. Um, in a very smooth surface, and it's just a big, round, great shield. But from the user's perspective, whenever you're behind it, it just, it's basically just a big monitor on the inside. Mm -hmm. So even if you're holding it up right in front of you, you can still see the entire field in front of you as if there were no shield in front of you, which has its advantages mm -hmm. and is neat. And in my head and whenever I was drawing it, um, it sounded much cooler, but now you're sort of disinterested, so now I'm getting bashful about my cool ruby weapon, so why don't we just end the episode now? Okay, if you're bashful. <laughs> <laughs>